I often say, the world doesn't need another chair. And, and then I sat in the beetle chair, and I'm like, the world does need another chair. As a brand, our philosophy is actually to work with fewer designers and, and then work in the depth. When we work with a company, it's very important the, the, the DNA of the company. I mean, for us, it's beautiful when you can really understand who is the company and who is the designer just immediately, you know. It's really almost bespoke for the company. The Beetle Chair was created in 2012. It was for a cultural exhibition. Jacob saw it and he thought it was an interesting chair and we wanted to develop it further. Afterwards, it became really a commercial success. The first point in the chair was making something extremely comfortable. That means that the back and the seat move. And then we find this insect because they have the two shells that are moving, so the possibility to have something somehow flexible. And then the design was just there, you know, a little bit ugly, a little bit cute. And, and then we have the story. When I saw Beetlejuice, I think it was a beautiful product. The seat has, you know, it's like a reference that you, you seem to be seeing it before. But then again, you haven't seen it. So it's an evolutionary of uh, design classics, but we also would like to have that contemporary touch. And I think that we share that vision for design with Confitinisi. In the end of the day, we keep also to the same values about functionality, quality, long-lasting beauty. We don't want pieces to, to stand out and scream out too much. When we look at the catalogue, it's not just a catalogue to make, you know, a nice setup. It's the way you basically live. I mean, we designed, we can say, beautiful things, nice things, interesting things, but there was not meaning to be iconic. It was just bringing to the people something in everyday life, at work, or whatever, that we can, can help. It's what we really hope. Booby was our very first client, and what is special is also that there is not so many compromises. We try to optimize and of course we have to reach the best solution, but if it doesn't work, we just keep the best solution and that's always been like that. I think come up like bricks, you know, you build up nice products and then the next thing is how can you then take all these and create a lifetime brand. From there it's just to, of course, maintain the brand development and add on new products and work hard, of course.